Hey everyone, it's Dustin with TechMD. Today I am repairing an LG V40 at a customer's home. And it's kind of, this table kind of sunk a little bit. So make sure you go ahead and just turn off your phone here. And we are going to look at the part and see how this repair is going to be done. So when I analyze a part, I can always tell that if I put the screen on, that it's gonna plug underneath. So that means I'm gonna to have to take off the back like most LG phones. So I'm gonna take my heat gun and I'm gonna go back and forth with it. My um, hot plate, unfortunately I broke the cord on it so I had to use my heat gun today. If you have any heat resistant gloves, that would be good to put on now so you can actually touch it. So you're just going to get nice and hot to the touch. Put your gloves on. And we're going to start slicing in from the top. Looks like this has been open before. Someone didn't seal it properly. Whoever did. And then kind of damage the battery a little bit too. Okay, so as you can see, you just have to cut some of this adhesive down and around over here in order to get under there. Now we're gonna take out all these screws. Quite a few of these screws here. I'm trying to hurry because I got somewhere to go. I did not want to miss this phone. I don't have it on my channel yet. Don't jump up and down too much, Tristan, because it could cause the thing to fall again. No, just stay standing or stay sitting carefully. So I'm going to take my eye sesame tool and let's try to separate it right here, but just don't get it in there too deep. You don't want to nick the motherboard. Uh, it seems to pull up very easily. Now we want to disconnect the battery, which is right here, and disconnect this. You can use a plastic tool, like a plastic pry tool, to disconnect that. For example, this. I just use my fingernail sometimes when I'm in a hurry. So this looks like it goes right through the screen. If you bought the screen only, all you have to do is disconnect those two things and warm up the screen. And then we're going to use T7000 to glue it all together. If you bought the frame, that's a separate video altogether, which I'm not making anytime soon because the frames are very expensive. Once we get it nice and warm, hot to the touch, it's starting to burn you. Get your gloves back on. Now you can also use a hot plate here, and a hot plate would work great if you're wanting to uh, put it on 100 degrees Celsius and then you wait three to five minutes for it to warm up. Just slice around with your tool. Seems pretty straightforward here. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to need to take off this piece right here. 
That's your ear mesh. Just gonna set it right there. Looks like the screen has definitely been replaced before. Okay, so if you need these screens, I'd highly recommend getting them in the links in, uh, in the description below by clicking that little icon to the bottom right of the video. It drops it down with the description and it'll show you where to purchase these parts. If you bought this on eBay or Amazon, you probably got ripped off. I would send that back. And most likely those are high defect rate screens or lower quality. So definitely send those back and uh, purchase from us. If you purchase from us, you're gonna get a little discount coupon in the description below. And plus you're also helping me uh, with our uh, YouTube channel. So I would very much appreciate it if you can buy parts from us. I'd recommend putting the liquid glass on this as well and getting it covered under in some insurance. So what I'm doing here is just scraping off any broken glass. on the edges here. Um, if there's no broken glass, because your LCD was broken like mine, you just gotta clean up the old glue. And it's quite difficult. I don't make it easy here. Okay, so once you have that all tested, or excuse me, not tested, once you have that all cleaned, go ahead and flip it around, plug your screen in, and you want to test it. Now, it's kind of difficult to test it with it just like this, because there's no, obviously there's no, well this fell out. Put this back in. because um, the power button's right here. So what you want to do would be to remove that power button or just try this. Let's see if this works. What? There might be a power button on the side thinking about it. One could hope. I'm not sure how the V40 turns on. Oh, okay, so it's on the left side and the phone's upside down. Okay, so once we disconnect those, now we're going to get our T7000 glue that you'll be able to purchase in the link in, in the description. This is the key factor for sealing up your phone properly. This phone was not sealed up properly, nor was the screen on there good. This is the same glue that most manufacturers use nowadays. This turns into like basically tacit tape. It's a good sealant for water resistance as well. I wouldn't use too much on this just because of how thin everything is. Jeez, really doesn't give you much to work with here.
has been a blessing ever since I've discovered this product. Made my life very easy. And it's a great sealant. Just gotta be patient when you stick it down. Okay, so now we've already removed all the plastics and transferred that piece up there. Really important. I'll just weave that right through there. And then line up your screen. You can take the plastic off if you need to for alignment. You don't want to put too much pressure on it until you know you got alignment perfect. Okay, so we got a little bit of excess glue right there. And you can wipe that up. For the sake of video speed and just trying to hurry up, I'm not going to wipe that up. I'm going to wipe that up afterwards. So we're going to hold this down for a full minute. So we got a perfect seal there. It looks like it is going nowhere, which is perfect. That's what we needed. Go ahead and clip in our cables. And let's that piece back in there where it belongs. Wants to keep on falling out for whatever reason. Probably just needs a little glue from the previous guy, but it's not that big of a deal. Make sure you don't have any screws attached to this while you're sliding it on and pressing against the motherboard. Come on. So this is some of the reasons why you want to purchase good quality parts. Because um, once you seal it, you can't return it. And you want something that's going to be official and it's going to last. So I would test it again one more time if you're not confident in your work. Just make sure that you didn't break it or anything like that when sealing it. Because those are very delicate. So you could seal it on that side or just this side and I'm going to seal it right here. Just go over the previous adhesive very lightly since it already has some coating and you'll know where to go because it already has some adhesive. You could also take it off if you like with a hot plate, but that makes life very difficult if you do. So I just recommend just leave it alone. Just put some more T7000 glue over it and it works beautifully. my lid go to? Oh, there you are. Okay, same process. A full one minute. 
I want to make sure this seals up good by pushing pressure right here. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it. That's how you fix the V40, uh, the glass and LCD only, um, and not without replacing the frame. Uh, you want to replace the frame if your frame is heavily damaged, but be warned those parts are very expensive. This is more economical to do it this way. And um, just a real, real quick cleaning with a, like a microfiber rag and alcohol around the corners, that'll clean it up right for you and should be good to go. Um, yeah, if, like I said, you know, link, uh, parts are in the link in the description, and, uh, please help support us by doing, purchasing parts from us. Um, all these tools are also available. I use the 2UUL screwdriver. God, my brain's not working. And, um, I sesame tool and iFlex tool to get these open in the T7000 glue. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And, yeah, this is everything.